We're here on the Smart Farming Is Tour with Patrick Visser. Patrick, we are in the Canadian Farmer's Ed Soil Laboratory. Is that right? Laboratory. That's laboratory. Fine. It sounds very like a sciency and like there should be abominations in the back. Well, no, no not typically, but uh, uh, it, it is the uh, Canadian Soil Test Laboratory. We uh, and you can put the em emphasis wherever you like on it. All right. Well, let's go look at stuff and blow stuff up. Sure. All right. <laughs> so what's this room here? This is our solar receiving area. This is kind of the whole, the whole, the whole birth of the process. Yeah. Uh, by this time, the, the, the samples have been have been taken from the field. Next step is to un unpack them, inventory them, yeah. get them logged into the system, and then they'll go right off into our drying room. Once once we've got the, that sample unpacked, it's going to go into a little a little tin tray. Big Baker's proofing rack is what we use. We yeah. like to like to borrow a lot of uh, good solutions from other industries. Rolls into our, our drying tunnels there, and then we just bring in, air, bring in warm air over that, warm dehumidified air, and it's gonna dry right out. There's no sand, but it's a Cancun vacation. It's 40 C in there, it's 105 Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, I'm, I appreciate the conversion. Well, yeah, it's the least I can do. <laughs> right. After it's done drying, it's gonna go into our grinding room. You gotta homogenize it, and you gotta get it pulverized down into a fine powder that we can use in the lab. So there's our, there's our sample. Once that's, that's all ground, we're gonna sieve it, any chaff, stone, not, anything that's not soil, yeah. is going to stay behind, catch it in the bag, oh, and it's off to the lab. So once we've got all of our soil uh, ground, we, we've got a couple of different st stages that we'll, that we'll look at. We've got, in the area we're standing in now, this is mostly just all the wet chemistry extraction. So the, sa the sample is, is scooped into uh, one of these, one of these uh, extraction manifolds here. Oh, look at that. That looks very sciencey. It is sciencey. It is bona fide science. So, all right, you put you put these in there. That's right. Yeah. Fill these off with soil. Yeah. Add in the extraction chemistry. Yep. And they're going to go on a shaker. Oh, yeah. Well, let's let's move on to the shaker. So this will put on 200 samples on this. Okay. And they will shake. Oh man. Half an hour of this. Yeah. And they're ready for filtration. Next step is we're going to filter off the samples. Okay. All right. So you feel why this? Yes. Wait. Okay. And just flip it. The whole thing? The whole thing. It the won't. It won't spill over. Shouldn't. Okay. I'm trusting. If, if you're a good technician, shouldn't. Well, I am obviously not. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Oh, let's not see. I met. Well, you said the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, but that's that <laughs> Okay. All right. I want to see how a professional does it. Yeah, thank you. Yes, it is. Very nice and clean. Well done. Okay. That's what it's supposed to look like. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Right, it's half an hour on the shaker. Extraction's finished, now we separate out the soil, the solid phase, from the liquid phase. And in there, that's what we're gonna measure. Gotcha. This is our ICP lab. Okay, we, what's ICP stand for? Inductively coupled plasma. Well, that's exactly what I thought it was for. Well, very good. <laughs> So we call it the ICP lab because these are these instruments are our ICPs. Okay. It it positions them, tells us where we're going to place them. Mm -hmm. It knows how many they, they are. It knows what test is going to be done on them, and then the data once it has it goes back up in our database uh, electronically. You ever seen Ghostbusters? Yes. You know where that looks like the trap. Sure it does. Right. Have you ever tried to put something in there that's not human? Soil. Okay, that's not what I meant, but I, yeah, that's, you're, you're very analytical, aren't you? Uh, I should be. <laughs> now, where does this send the information to? You want to have a peek at it? I would love to have a peek Let's at it. Let's have a peek at it. I guess I feel a, a sense of responsibility to tell Wade Barnes that before he pulled these up, they were all on World of Warcraft. <laughs> <laughs> there's the sample ID, there's the test result. Okay. And then this data just gets transferred electronically up to our database and shows up on a report in the end for the, for the grower. Okay. So over there we're doing uh, all your base cations, calcium, magnesium, sodium, potassium, yep. sulfur's done over there, all your micronutrients, boron, copper, iron, magnesium, zinc, and then in here we do all nitrate, chloride, ammonium, and our phosphate. Gotcha. 
Okay, I got a farmer question for you. When you ground the dirt, mm -hmm. you shift it off all the stuff on top. Mm -hmm. How do you test for organic matter? We can go a lot of look at that. Okay, all right. I would be interested. This is what we call a muffle furnace. It's a high temperature furnace. We run it at uh, about 375 Celsius. And why, why so warm? The organic carbon is, is what everyone just calls organic matter. Mm -hmm. uh, when that organic carbon gets up to that temperature, it starts to oxidize. And when you oxidize carbon, you get carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide's a gas, yeah. so it goes We're gonna go back and put it back on that balance, measure it very precisely, and that percent mass lost, that's your organic matter. You're weighing the loss of the carbon yeah. that has evolved into carbon dioxide. Okay, all right. So this is our pH and EC robot. Okay. So every soil sample that comes into our laboratory, we, we measure for pH, which mm -hmm. you know, and EC or, or salts, measure the salinity of the soil. What's the most acidic soil you've ever tested here? Four and a half pH. That's extremely rare for Canada. Yeah. Well, at least the at least the area that I deal with. That's that's pretty darn acidic. Okay, so we've seen all the testing done, mm -hmm. all the analysis, mm -hmm. and that ships it on over to here. So this is kind of the last step. That's right. Okay. The, all this data, it's all been approved. So we've got all the testing done, mm -hmm. and it's going to be electronically sent to to our farm command system for the agronomist for the farm to, to to look at and be able to work on. You don't print it out and curry it over. We do not. Okay. All right. So what do we have to do to send it to farm command? We just press the button. Can I, can I press the button? Do you want to press the button? Yeah. Let's go press the button. <laughs> which, which, which damn button do I push? All you have to do is approve and deliver a report, and then you can make fun of what kind of mouse I've got. I would never, you know, I would never written. judge another man's mouse. <laughs> All right. Approve and deliver. Approve and deliver. Oh, see, I already messed it up. All right, it's a big moment. Uh, kind of anticlimactic, really. Not much to it. So, Patrick, you've shown us your lab. Your, your. I was a little disappointed that there wasn't more abominations being created. <laughs> but uh, uh, wow, what an efficient place you've built. We know how important it is for farmers to be able to get get on with what they need to do, uh, and uh, we try to hinder that as little as possible. Well, Patrick, thank you very much for showing us around. My pleasure. Yeah.